I heard about some of the things going on in Ukraine, and I thought I could do um, help them a bit. So I thought about doing a hockey game because I love hockey. This hockey game in Etobicoke wasn't your average game. It was actually organized by 10-year-old Lucas McDonald. He encouraged his teammates, friends, and family to help join in his efforts to raise money for people in Ukraine. So when you originally started the fundraiser, how much money were you hoping to raise when you first started it? Um, when I first started it, I was hoping to raise $500 because I didn't think it would explode like this. <laughs> and how much have you raised so far? Um, we raised over $17,000. <laughs> McDonald, who's used to protecting inside the crease during the games, is hoping his fundraising will help protect the innocent people being attacked by Russian forces. I'm incredibly proud of him, and I'm so thrilled for him that he's gotten to see so much success with it. And it shows him what he is capable of and what other kids his age are capable of and the difference that you can make. The invasion of Ukraine hits close to home for the Ontario family. Lucas's great-grandparents were from Ukraine. At certain points, I have uh, felt heartbroken uh, for them and on their behalf, knowing that if they were here to see what was happening there right now, they'd be absolutely devastated. The charity he chose to help raise funds for gives money to Ukrainian people to help get food and supplies, as well as find a place to live and get treated for any injuries they may have sustained. We aren't directly collecting any money, so we have suggested that they contribute to the Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal which is run by the CUF and the UCC. So we've recommended people just do that directly so anybody watching can feel free to go and donate directly to the Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal. I'm glad that I could help the people in Ukraine. Lucas, who hopes to play in the NHL one day, was not actually able to participate in the game this evening. He unfortunately tested positive for COVID-19. Reporting in Etobicoke for City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.